Hello, Hunt Chef Nation. Today, we're having a bonfire Hunt Chef style. We're gonna barbecue up a giant rack of moose ribs that Jay was kind enough to harvest up in Alberta. I can't wait to get these guys seasoned and over the hardwood coals. You're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. Remember, always. Eat where you can. <laughs> So we've got this giant rack of moose ribs here, and we're gonna use some of the Stone House brisket rub. Chloe's gonna give us a sprinkle. Go ahead, honey, season them up. Daddy, rub it around. More, lots more, lots more. This is like work, this is a huge rack. Come on, give me some more. More, get the edges. Oh yeah, now we're talking. We're gonna rub down both sides, a little bit more around the edges here. So this rib rub, you can see the pepper flake, lots of dark brown sugar, plenty of salt. Now these guys are super lean. There's tons of connective tissue in here. So this is gonna be a long smoke over the fire. Not too hot because we don't wanna get them too charred up. All right, I'll give them a flip and I'll rub the other side. Come on. That's it, now we're cooking. A Little bit more up here. All right, now we've got our ribs rubbed down. We're gonna let these set for about 10 minutes and let that rub work into the meat. We're gonna stoke up the fire, and then these things are going on. We've got a great bed of coals. The second round of logs is catching really nicely right now. The ribs have been sitting, seasoned, all that brisket rub working into that meat. And now it's time to set this rack of moose ribs over the fire. It's gonna be the longest four hours of our lives till these things cook nice and tender. But stay with us, because you're not gonna to wanna to miss it. I'm here to tell you about my new line of seasonings. We've got you covered from seafood, to the smoker, to the grill, to roasting, designed specifically for wild game. You can find all these Eat What You Kill seasonings at HuntChef.com. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. You know, i was been looking forward to cooking these things since last October when Jeremiah hauled them home. This moose, rack of ribs right here, I'm gonna give them a turn four or five times during the cooking process. Oh man. We got some great hardwood color coming on these guys already. So we're gonna keep building that char, turning them four or five more times. And then once both sides look really good and charred up, we're gonna start basing with my hot honey barbecue sauce. Then we're gonna get the big knife out. We're gonna carve these guys down and we're gonna eat some barbecued moose ribs. Well, we're sitting around a campfire here and we're cooking this giant, delicious, crispy, smoky looking rack of moose ribs that Jay was fortunate enough to uh, harvest up in Alberta with Dawn and Northern Tails Outfitters. What do you what do you say about that hunt, man? It's an experience of a lifetime. I mean, one of the most beautiful places I've ever hunted in the world, about 44 hours one way in a truck and drive. It was unbelievable. One of the most beautiful places we've ever been. And we're heading back up here in about 15 days. Nice, I'm so jealous. Black bear. We got some eight footers running around up there. Dawn sent us some video yesterday. I'm sad I wasn't there, but I'm glad I'm here. Um, I got some of my Stonehouse hot honey barbecue sauce. And I've been waiting to do this for about five hours now. And we're just gonna base these guys up. I mean, I didn't really expect the whole jar going on these guys, but that's what it's gonna take. You know, there's not a lot of intramuscular fat. There's a lot of connective tissue. I knew it was gonna take time. So we've had this fire just babying it all the way around. We've got a great char the whole way around this rack of ribs. And we're gonna let this sauce set up. We're gonna give it a flip. Let it get even more tacky with the fire. Flip it back over and carve them up. Stay tuned, you're gonna see the finished moose rib rack coming off this Pennsylvania hardwood fire. celebrating to do. You 
You know, this rack of ribs probably weighed 20 pounds when we put it on, but we are gonna come right down the middle. Oh, that is slicing like moose rib butter. You get the chance, get your butts moose hunting, pack the ribs out, cook them low and slow, and it's a Pennsylvania hardwood with Stonehouse brisket rub and Stonehouse hot honey barbecue sauce. I promise you will be happy you did. Ladies and gentlemen, you're watching Hunt Chef on Mountaintop Outdoors. And remember, always eat what you kill. Stay tuned, a lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation. Follow me on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube, and HuntChef.com. I'm here to tell you about my new line of seasonings. We've got you covered from seafood, to the smoker, to the grill, to roasting, designed specifically for wild game. You can find all these Eat What You Kill seasonings at HuntChef.com. A lot more coming for Hunt Chef Nation.